Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and continuing the topic of power signals in which today let's say I give the heading to the examples. And we prove what I told you in the previous video. Hopefully you have watched it. So the first thing that I said is that a step signal is a power signal. Well, I told you in the last video about a unit step, but it is not necessarily a unit step, a step signal. So, let's say we have a, a step signal which is, this is the time x, and this is, let's say, u of t is representing the step signal with a step of a naught. Well, u of t generally represents a unit step, but this is just for the similarity. I use the symbol. So let me write over here that the power of a signal is calculated by this formula. Limit t approaching infinity 1 over t negative t by 2 to positive t by 2 x of t is modulus whole squared integration with respect to t. I believe in the last video I did not mention this limit. No problem. So Let's say we fix uh, the t by 2 and negative t by 2, so we, we should fix it at a point where we have transition. So the transition is at point 0. So let's say I put this negative t by 2 over here, positive t by 2 over here. Alrighty, so uh, now what do you have? The power is equal to limit t tends to infinity, 1 over t is outside, and we divide the integration into two parts. So the first is from negative t by 2 to 0, the function's value is 0. And then it's from 0 to positive t by 2, and the function's value is a naught, and this integration is with respect to t. So 0 with respect to t will come out to be 0, and then you have what? You have a limit t tending infinity, 1 over t, and this thing. So you have a naught is outside and then t with respect to t, uh, no sorry, 1 with respect to t is a t and the limits are t by 2 and 0. So now the power would be what? The power would be limit t approaching infinity 1 over t a naught times t by 2 minus 0, so you can say t by 2. So this t would cancel out with t, you put the limit, you don't have anything the power is equal to a naught by 2. The power of the units of the step signal is a naught by 2. So for the unit step signal, it would be 1 over 2. So this is a finite value, which means that it is a power signal. Now this is a power signal, but this is not a periodic signal. Is that fine? As I told you in the previous video. So we have proved that this is a uh, periodic. Now the RMS is under root of this, so you can do it for yourself. And I made a mistake somewhere is that you have uh, a square over here. And how did I get the square? Because this would be square. The modulus is square. The modulus square. The modulus square. You did not tell me about. It. You should. So you can also write the RMS value which is a naught upon under root 2. So this is about the step signal. In the, in, in the next step, I told you about a DC signal. So the second is, let's say, the DC signal. So a DC signal is, let's say, represented by a D of P with the amplitude equal to a naught. So have a look. Over here we do not need to set t by 2 because the value is the same throughout the axis. The value is the same throughout the axis. So what do you do? You directly do it. So the power is equal to limit t tending infinity 1 over t integration from negative t by 2 to positive t by 2. What is the value? The value is a naught and you square it. So the modulus of a naught is a naught and then squared and then integrated with respect to t. 
So A naught square would come out of the integration, the integration of 1 with respect to T would be T. So the power would be like this, limit T approaching infinity, 1 over T, A naught squared, and then you have a T with the limits of T by 2 and negative T by 2. So now, now the power would be limit T approaching infinity, uh, 1 over T, A naught squared, uh, T by 2 minus, minus T by 2, so plus T by 2, which is equal to T. So T by 2 plus T by 2 is T, which cancels out with this T. So the limit cancels out, so which means the power of the function is equal to A naught squared. Now A naught squared would be a finite value, and if the power is a finite value, which means this is a power signal. And similarly, again, you can say the RMS is under the root of the power, so RMS is A naught. This is for a DC signal. So these are the two properties that I told you in the previous video, and over here I have discussed it. Let's say I have an example. So we have a clock pulse, let's say. Let's say we have a clock pulse, number 3 is, let's say, like this. This is T, represented, let's say C of T is the function. And this is Okay, for this clock pulse, you know from your digital electronics course, okay? Digital logic design. If you have any juniors, you know, you can suggest them my videos. I already have videos on digital logic. So now this is a periodic signal. Yes, so negative t by 2, do positive t by 2. So in case of this, you don't have the limits. So in case of periodic signal, the power is equal to 1 over t naught, negative t naught to positive t naught, and the absolute of x of t whole square. Fine, this is the formula. So let's say we, we see what the negative t naught and positive t naught is. So the T naught by two, T naught by two, right? Yes, 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 yes. So I remember it just in time. This is T naught by two. So uh, what is T naught? It is from here till here. The blue color is T naught. So T naught by two is let's say this red color. This is T naught by two. And similarly, this one is negative T naught by two. Fine. So now you integrate it. So what do you do is that you say the power is equal to 1 over t naught times and then you split the integration from negative t naught by 2 to 0. The function's value is 0 and it's integrated with respect to t and then plus you have from 0 to t naught by 2 the value of the function is a naught let's say. So it's a naught squared a naught squared and then with respect to t. So again you have a 1 over t naught and this would be 0 a naught squared would come outside of the bracket and this is t with respect to t and then you put the limit so this is t naught by 2 again so I have a look t naught t naught cancels out the power comes out to be a naught squared divided by 2 and let me check squared by 2, it is. So this is again a finite power and if the power of a signal is finite, this means that this is a power signal. And if the power is finite, the energy would be infinite. If a power signal the energy is infinite. And similarly, you can have the RMS value again. So this is similar to one example that we've already done. The step signal, right? The step signal. Because this is equivalent to the step signal. So this is uh, about it, but I have one other property, one other property, wait, number four. The property is that if a signal x of t is equal to the sum of two signals, x a of t plus x b of t and so on, sum of two or more signals, then the power of this x of t is equal to the sum of the powers of its constituent signals. 
plus and plus so on. And uh, so let's say I have an example. So I remove uh, this part. So this is an enough space. Let's say the function is x of t is like this. I have used the word x of t over here, so I will use x of t over here also. This value is, let's say, 4. This is whatever, let's say, negative 3, whatever you want to take it. This is the time axis. So I have a look. I can do it. In, I can uh, uh, divide it into two parts. This x of t could be written as this. x a of t, which is this linear graph, and similarly this could be written as x b of t, which is written in the, in the step signal, with a step equal to 4. So I have a look, this a of t is a, is what? This is a finite duration signal. x a of t, this is a finite duration signal. And what does this finite duration signal represent? This means an energy signal. And for an energy signal, the power is equal to zero. Simple. And similarly, this xb of t, this represents a step signal. And for step signal, the power is calculated as a naught squared by 2. And a naught is 4, so 4 4 are 16 divided by 2, so this is a. So which means now the power for x of t so the power for x would be power of x of a plus power of x of b. So this is 0 plus 8. So the power of this signal is equal to 8. And this is the answer. So that's all about it. Okay? That's all about today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah, with I don't know what to do. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.